Hello Legion, this is Hadrian. Welcome to the channel and community mini-series. So the purpose of this video is to help better acquaint new subscribers with the greater channel community. And I'd like to note that this is a special release of this video. I'm releasing this version in March of 2017 and the channel is currently a few hundred shy of 5,000 subscribers. The community itself therefore is still taking shape and I think that's natural for channels of this size. I'll re-release this recording without this note when things are up and running a little bit more, but for now, I'd actually like to open this version with an invitation to you. If you're a pioneering spirit in particular, if you like the idea of being first, if you just enjoy communities and being a part of them when they are nascent and small and growing, or if you simply want to be one of the first few dozen, first hundred people actively sparking the fire of community right here and actively helping to create a deep sense of interaction outside the context of the comments section, consider this your personal invitation from me. Some of you, of course, may start more threads than others, but all of you are welcome to follow along on social media. So what's this video all about? I'm gonna take just a few minutes in total to walk you through the channel and its related social media outlets. I wanna do this because, well, I've wanted to do it for a long time and two people have asked me about it, but I also wanna do it just because I know everybody's different. Some people love Twitter, but some people hate Twitter. <laughs> but the people that hate Twitter might love Reddit. And yes, we absolutely have a subreddit for the Legion. Or maybe you hate both but you spend a lot of time on Steam and you might enjoy the more traditional forum-like communities you can find on there, as well as the ability just to interact with the community while being in the same space where you play so many of your games. No matter what, hopefully you'll finish this video in a few minutes feeling more connected and a part of the community than before. Of course, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Note the timestamps at the bottom of the video, which can help you jump around to the outlets you most want to hear about. For instance, if you hate Twitter, you can skip it. Just look at the timestamps. Links to all of the channel's social media Media outlets can be found on the channel's banner or in the links section if you're viewing the channel on a mobile device. Also, don't forget to check out the Patreon video if you'd like to know more about how to support the channel directly. You can give $1 a month and have an extraordinary impact. And as strange as that sounds, I mean it with complete sincerity. I'll tell you more of the how and why in that video. So let's begin with a quick stop by the YouTube channel. And not because you need to be walked through the channel, I'm sure you know your way around YouTube, but just to make sure you know about this button. It looks a little bit different depending on the platform you're using, but if you click on it, you're basically enabling push notifications for the channel. In other words, any mobile device that you use to watch YouTube, whether it's a phone or a tablet, will do a much better job at notifying you whenever new videos are out. You'll get a message every time. You can also change the way you receive the notification so that your phone doesn't go off if you don't want your phone to buzz in your pocket, but you still want to get an email, for instance, or whatever you like every time there's a new video. This is particularly useful for channel announcements and irregular videos that aren't following the normal expected schedule. An example uh, is for me, actually, I do this for the official Civilization VI channel, and it really helps me to keep tabs on announcements that I don't want to miss. Up next is our subreddit over on reddit.com slash r slash Hadrian LP. I'm going to spend the bulk of the video here. If you've never used Reddit before, think of it as a massive collection of topical sub communities. Someone has a particular interest area, so they start a subreddit, which then becomes a message board dedicated to that topic. There are big, huge popular topics in subreddits, as well as small, specialized niche topics in subreddits. I'm showing you Reddit first because Reddit is the most effective way, in my belief, to start a conversation about the channel or about the games we enjoy playing in a kind of enclosed setting where you can go to expect those kinds of discussions always. Anyone is welcome to start a discussion or to revive an old one. I've disabled downvoting on this particular subreddit, so everyone is encouraged to upvote liberally those community members who contribute well and make life more interesting on the subreddit. Aside from talking to you guys, I use the subreddit to post channel updates, subscriber polls, to ask for feedback, and of course to kick off AMA related activities, ask me anything style activities, right? Reddit makes it easier than most other outlets to have that clear sense of community. So if that's what you're most interested in, subscribe to the subreddit. <laughs> and all I ask is that you check out the community rules here on the right-hand side before you dive in. And do remember that I have a zero tolerance policy for people that treat others poorly around here. Civility is expected. Next is Twitter at HadrianLP. Like with YouTube, I'm not going to spend a ton of time explaining this one. Chances are you're familiar with what Twitter is. If you want to feel more of a direct connection to me 
and whatever's going on with me as opposed to the channel, quote unquote, and the community, quote unquote, follow me on Twitter. Like most Twitter users, I post more stream of consciousness type stuff. I'll share brief thoughts on various subjects, retweet things that I happen to like or find thought provoking. And just remember, if I retweet something, that doesn't mean I agree with every single word of it. And I might not even agree with any of it. I might just retweet it because I thought it was interesting. Sidebar, like on the subreddit, I will share channel updates and polls. Twitter's also a great way just to notice when I've uploaded a new video like one of these messages right here, as soon as possible. They pop up every time I upload. And I'm pretty active, so I encourage you guys to come hang out on Twitter if it's really just me you wanna to talk to some days. One thing you can do on Twitter to tie your tweets into the greater channel community is to use the hashtag LPQR in your post. That's a unique tag that can help us find things that others have shared about the channel. And very quickly, since I just mentioned Twitter, I should also mention the Facebook page at facebook.com slash Hadrian channel. My Facebook activity is connected to my Twitter feed. So I generally don't actively post to Facebook specifically, but Facebook gets everything Twitter gets more or less. So if you use Facebook, don't use Twitter, but still want that same sense of connection to me, then there you go. And last but absolutely not least, you can reach the Steam group by searching for Hadrian on Steam. I'll show you how to do it right now, as a matter of fact. If you search right here for Hadrian, you'll see me as a person. And then if you go to groups, you'll see the Hadrian group, which we were just at, and now we're back. So a lot of us are on Steam, right? When we're playing games. What I love about the Steam community is it's, it's on Steam. So those of you who aren't as interested in visiting external social media sites may find this group to be the most appealing one for you. Another thing I prefer about Steam is that the Steam group is kind of like Twitter and Reddit in one for my purposes. Same as with Twitter and Reddit, I post channel announcements and subscriber polls right here. And if you're online with your overlay turned on, you'll see them immediately like Twitter or like turning your notifications on for YouTube. But much like Reddit, you can also use the group's discussion page to start new discussions about channel-related topics or games that interest you and other members of the Legion. And that's it for this first installment of the Channel and Community miniseries. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this a useful guide. Again, if you'd like to ask a question, feel free to do so in the comments below. Comments in general are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.